Yeah, yeah. Slacker. I'll, yeah, I'll text slack, her via yeah. Slack to get her number. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Okay, we're hey guys, we are live. This is Tim Miller at Paco's at the Park in downtown Toledo <laughs> with my morning co-anchor <laughs> Tiffany Tarpley. And you know, Tiffany's been back in the area for the last couple of months. And we're just kind of reintroducing you once again to some of the things that we love on our morning show. Yeah. And I had to bring you to Paco's. Yeah. It's I'm just a, an amazing place. I'm excited. You know, I remember getting Paco's pretty often uh, the last <laughs> yeah. time I was working in Toledo. So um, I'm right. excited to be back here and to try some more things or at least see like behind the scenes and how things are made. Right. So I'm just looking online. When you see me looking at my phone, I'm not being rude. I want to see <laughs> if you all have any comments, you have any questions, right. let us know and we'll get them answered. Yeah, I've always wanted to know also how they make some of the favorite foods. We're with Scott Radell, the vice president uh, for Paco's. And Scott, thanks for showing us around here. <laughs> These are so many favorites. I'm, I'm thinking about the, the Hungarian hot dogs, the chicken paprikash. You're going to show us how some of these things are made. Yes, so we are. Uh, we're excited to be here at our downtown uh, location, and uh, we're going to have uh, we're going to walk you through a couple of the items okay. that we're going to make. First, we're going to uh, Shannon's going to help uh, make a hot dog, and uh, we have our steam buns. Uh, and then uh, with the hot dog, it's important that uh, we call it the smile is up, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, that allows us to. Uh, hold the uh, onions and the sauce. Product. So is that why you cut them too, so that they hold the, the good well, stuff? Actually, in, uh, when we opened in 1932, um, the, uh, it was during the Depression, and Tony Sr. Uh, felt that uh, at that point in time, a hot dog was 10 cents, and that it was too expensive. And right. so he cut the hot dog in half, and it was 5 cents. So, so this is a tradition that continues. Yes, and so uh, onions, mustard, hot dog sauce, and then a, a couple pickles and a pepper to keep the hot dog standing up. So you could ask for some of this stuff to be left off, but this is this sure. is how you really should be doing yeah. it. And uh, <laughs> we also ask if you want cheese on it, which um, but the the hot dog itself, it, it's onions, mustard, and the hot dog sauce. I'll well, take I, cheese. I was going to say, <laughs> even for me, cheese might be more than I need because uh -huh. it's chock full with some of the other things. Yeah, it's it's one of uh, we sell thousands of hot dogs during the year. So, I can definitely say it smells great yeah. in here yeah. right now. And, and the key here is it has the snap, too. When you bite into it, yep. and I know you have the regular hot dogs, too, but what's that snap you get on the well, true Hungarian hot dog? natural cased hot dogs, and so it's the casing itself that you're um, you know, biting into, and that's what causes the hot dog to snap. Okay. And now what, what do we have? What are they making now? Uh, that's a, a stuffed cabbage, uh, which is another oh, one of our yeah. popular items. Uh, we make the stuffed cabbage and everything by hand, and uh, we actually cook the cabbage, the leaves, um, once a year in the fall. That's when the cabbage is sweetest, and uh, we roll cabbages on Tuesdays every week for all the restaurants. Now, Tiffany, you were just here when you were kind of getting back yeah. acquainted to the area. Yeah. What, what are some of the things you ate when you were so here? So I remember, like, wanting the German potato salad. Oh, have yeah. to get the hot dog. I'm trying to think what else was it, the mac and cheese. <laughs> Oh, that's it was like good you too. get a little bit of everything. And what I'm excited about, like the, these pierogies. Yeah. You know, and that's new, right? Right. Um, Scott, tell us about that. These are new ones. We uh, rolled out um, our, our pierogies, which uh, are you know, mid Eastern or Eastern European item. And uh, we have three different ways of serving them. Uh, we have. Um, and we have some on the plate there. Yep. Yeah, we have some down there. Those are our original ones. They're served with uh, paprika sprinkled on the top and then a. Uh, uh, a special sauce that we make for those specifically that's sour cream, paprika, and uh, ranch dressing. Potatoes and cheese inside? Yeah, potatoes and cheese. And then we also have uh, our pierogies that comes with our, our kraut um, okay. on top, which is you know, very good. You like the crowd? Uh, I'm not a big crowd fan, but I know a lot of people love it. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. Yeah. I don't <laughs> and then uh, we also have uh, uh, hot dog sauce, onions uh, on, on the pierogies which as well. Which you can see in that photo up there. The yeah. one in the middle with the hot dog sauce. That very, looks amazing. Very, very, very popular. So Diana says she loves the sauce. Hot dog. Hot dog. I think she's like, hot dog. I love <laughs> it's the all sauce. about the hot dog. And Janet says uh, that's the one thing she said she wished they had one of these in North Carolina. Uh, you get, uh, how far do people well, come? They come uh, and, and Well, and we try literally to during the summertime will have at our Front Street restaurant, It's it's as well as the other restaurants, but more notably there, you can play the license uh, uh, plate tag. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you'll see, you know, plates from all around the United States. I you know, saw one from Alaska 
uh, wow. a couple years ago. And but it's not uncommon that you could, you know, fill up uh, your whole a whole uh, checklist with uh, the state's uh, license plates in the summer. And Scott, one of the other things I love is the chicken popper kosh. Um, tell me how that's made, or what's so special well, we about make, that? Uh, the, the noodles by hand at our, our commissary, um, and uh, on a, a daily basis, and then the, the chicken uh, and is served with a, a chicken gravy that we make uh, all. Which is delicious. <laughs> we we make uh, uh, all that from scratch on a on a, a daily basis, and then topped off with a little bit of paprika on the top. Ah. Now, why is paprika such an important ingredient? Is well, that it's, it's a, a Hungarian, Hungarian staple? Spice. Um, and uh, it just adds a lot of uh, flavor. And uh, back in the day, Nancy Paco uh, uh, searched long and, and far for the right exact spice um, <laughs> to have. And uh, we're very pleased with uh, the, it's a very unique uh, paprika. It is. And you, you said, Tiffany, you haven't had that yet, right? No, I haven't had chicken popper kosh, like, it's like ever. It's a comfort so, food like, no. <laughs> on a cold week that we've been having, right? I sure haven't. Um, I, you know, I will just ask again, you know, if you all have any questions, we're here at Tony Paco's at the park. If you have any questions, let us know. I'm monitoring social media. So if you right. have any questions for Tim and I or for Scott, well, let and us I, know. I will yeah. say next week uh, starts uh, Lent, and mm -hmm. each year we uh, have uh, our lake uh, perch. Uh, that we sell at all yes. the restaurants. Front Street's going to have the uh, Guinness battered cod uh, this year, but only at the Front Street location. And obviously, the pierogies go really well this year. We're real excited about as a Lent option, right? For, and not just for Ash Wednesday, but for every you know, Friday all during the way Lent. through uh, until Easter. Very good. And uh, I have to mention one of my <laughs> favorites and are the pickles, fried pickles. And I'm sure you guys have it down to a science. What is it about the Tony Paco's pickles? Well, we. Um, have the, the original they're made with our original pickles and uh, uh, we have a, a company in Tiffin Ohio fried foods triple batters them for us and um, they, they then uh, you know freeze them and we have them at the restaurant and they're, triple batter I didn't know that yeah they're uh, they're very popular uh, a lot of people have asked why we don't do the sweet hots and, mm -hmm. and do those in, in addition to the original pickles and uh, the, 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 we've tried a couple different times, and the batter just doesn't stay on it because of the sugar content. Uh, it's, it really is It's a tough mix, probably, to get it to stick right. Well, right? And, yeah, exactly. Um, and I, I call these uh, fried pickles uh, 3.0. Uh, originally, <laughs> you know, we had the spear. And how many times have you been into a, a, a fried pickle that's a spear, and you end up with the pickle burning your lips and the breading? Yeah, it you know, doesn't work, little, does it? It, it doesn't yeah. work. And then um, folks tried the little pick, uh, pickle chips, but with those, it's all about the breading because there's not enough pickle on it um, right. to really. And, and I never feel for, you know that good one. I, I mean, there's a lot of flavor to it, but it you know it's a lot of you know fried food and the breading. Right. And so these are you know the chunks, and so they're you can get a they hold their heat really well you have to be careful when you bite into them uh -oh. <laughs> yeah because it kind of the I juice pops no, right no, no, the heat is in temperature yeah yeah, yeah no no uh, <laughs> you know, it's all like inside yeah. and once you break and in that a, yeah, seal it bursts out and right? we serve it with a ranch dressing and our own spicy ketchup yeah oh, it's so good so yeah. manuel has a question he wants to know are you going to be open for valentine's day we will be open on uh, <laughs> valentine's day uh all uh this restaurant is not open because of uh, the covid um, restrictions and business volume on Sundays, but all the other four restaurants, which uh, three of them have drive-throughs, which have been very popular. Uh, people have uh, come in uh, and uh, gotten food to go, and, and uh, I, I think we've really uh, helped uh, feed uh, the, the city of uh, Toledo. So make your Valentine's plans <laughs> for Front Street. Uh, for, yeah, be open for table service. And so Janet says, uh, she says she loves the chicken paprikash. It is to die for. So that's that's good to know. And it's uh, in the cold snap that we're having, Scott. I mean, this is the perfect kind of food, isn't oh, it? Because yeah, you want to get out of the cold, or if you're bringing it home from your drive-through, it just kind of warms your whole body, right? Yeah, and our food uh, travels very well. Uh, you know, it it, it stays. Uh, it's still good to eat after you know, when you get it home and get it in uh, in the house. Uh, it's very popular. And once again, obviously we have Paco's at the park. We have the original over there on Front Street. And, and you have three more too, yeah, right? We have uh, Secor uh, at Ex Executive Drive. And then uh, Alexis, we moved the Savania uh, location on the other side of uh, uh, the car dealership there. 
uh, and then we have one in Maumee. Your standalone new, newer building in yeah, Maumee. Right? Yeah, yeah, and it's, uh, they all, those three new ones uh, all have drive throughs Well, nice. Scott, what's your favorite thing on the menu? <laughs> Good question. I, uh, my favorite is probably the stuffed cabbage. Okay. I, uh, when I was uh, uh, just a, a young lad, <laughs> uh, my father was a CPA for Paco's, uh, okay. and uh, I remember going to Paco's on Friday nights and watching the cake, uh, walking jazz band on Friday nights, and we'd listen to the first set. I'd have a stuffed cabbage there. And, you know, fast forward, you know, the eight years ago when I came back to Toledo, uh, I had, you know, stuffed cabbage, and it was the same flavor profile, and it was better than I remember. So you remembered that it was only better this time. Yeah, right? it's... It, it, uh, <laughs> It was, it was better when I came back, and so that continues to be my favorite. You know, the problem I have, Tiffany, when I come here is I almost have to come back the next day because you can only eat so much in one <laughs> setting, but there's so many more choices for me to get the next yeah, time. Yeah, there, there, there are a lot of options. I think that's, that, that's a good thing. It's also the tough thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you have to sort of uh, give uh, a lot of thought to what you are hungry for. Right. Well, hey, Scott, we thank you so much for taking us around. I mean, this is amazing. You can feel the warmth, not only of the ovens going, but just of the food hot on the plates, I right? I can smell it. Smell a vision. Even because through the mask, we can, can smell, smell this it. food. So, mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, this is the place to be. So <laughs> so now that you've been, kind of been reacquainted to Paco's, I think uh, I think we'll be back, yeah, right? Let's do it. After the morning show, let's yeah. bring the whole team when, when things get better. You open at 11, <laughs> right? Can we, come, we can't come at 9 o'clock. No, you can't come in there. Oh, okay. All I mean, right. well, I mean, well, we can make special arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Scott Radell, uh, Vice President here for Paco's. Come to Paco's at the park. Come to any of the other four. It is just a great place to get some, some food. And you guys also have the grocery business, too. Yep. I don't want to get into that too much because we've taken a lot of time here. But you can find it in your favorite Kroger. Yeah, we or? actually have it in 36 different states, uh, our product. Uh, and it's in, uh, we have big four foot sections in the Kroger's and Myers and Walmart in the Toledo area. And you have, you'll, you'll be serving it there in the, into my cart when I'm there at Kroger, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> You're too busy with other parts, I'm sure. <laughs> but you'll, you'll get all of our, uh, our, our pickle products and our hot dog sauce. And the noodles. Uh, and the noodles all are sold in, in uh, Kroger's and Myers and, and Walmart. And a lot of smaller grocers around town as well. All right, definitely a Toledo tradition. An original, that's Paco. So Tiffany Tarpley and Tim Miller, thanks so much for joining us here on Facebook Live. Come on out to Paco's and enjoy a great lunch or dinner today. Let's eat, Tim. Yeah, it's time to eat. <laughs> <laughs>